Greetings from us and Ali. Welcome to this guide on unlocking AI. It is for both beginners and advanced learners. Explore the fascinating world of artificial intelligence with our comprehensive guide. Whether you are a beginner or an advanced learner, you can discover key topics like machine learning, computer vision, ethical AI, and more. Boost your knowledge and stay ahead in this dynamic field. What is AI or artificial intelligence? AI refers to machines that can mimic human cognitive functions like learning and problem solving. For example, a music streaming service recommends songs based on your listening history because AI personalizes user experience. How does AI work? It relies on algorithms that analyzes huge, vast amounts of data called training data to identify patterns and make predictions. For example, a self-driving car uses cameras and also has sensors to collect data, which is called training data. It learns about its surroundings and also learns how to navigate roads safely. What are the benefits of AI? AI can actually automate tasks, improve decision making, and unlock new possibilities across different diverse and various fields. For example, uh, AI powered medical imaging tools assist doctors in diagnosing diseases with much better and greater accuracy. Let us look at jobs in AI. AI careers are booming. There are a lot of demand for AI professionals. And these roles require a mix of technical skills like programming, data analysis, and also domain knowledge like healthcare, finance, manufacturing, etc. And some of the examples of AI jobs are machine learning engineer, data scientist, robotics, engineer, AI product manager, and many others. Is coding experience necessary? You have it, it's great, but don't worry. Many AI jobs leverage user interface or UI design, data visualization, or content creation skills. So there are jobs for those with coding experience and also for those with no, with no coding experience. And what is the future of work as it is going to be as we talk today? As AI automates tasks, new jobs will emerge, new jobs will be created which will require human creativity, critical thinking, and collaboration skills, and many more. The future of work. So let us look at the next topic, AI and machines. AI versus Robotics. AI is the intelligence, while robotics is the physical embodiment. Robotics is there and it is real. A self driving car uses AI to make decisions called intelligence, while the robotic components control steering 
and acceleration that is the embodiment so a combination of intelligence and embodiment helps a self driving car and ai can also empower machines and factory robots to surgical robots ai enhances their capabilities and decision making for example an industrial robot arm uses ai to analyze sensor data and adjust its movement for precise assembly task robotics is a game changer and what is the future of machines can expect to see even smarter and more adaptable machines powered by ai across various diverse different industries the next topic is ai and machine learning or ml machine learning is a subset of ai ml algorithms learn from data without explicit programming and how is ml used machine language used many app, many ai applications rely on ml for tasks like image recognition natural language processing and fraud detection for example spam filters a spam filter uses ml to identify and block spam emails based on patterns learned from past data a very useful filter isn't it for many of us we get so many spam mails ai can help us reduce the number of spam emails and what is the future of ml machine learning advancements in ml algorithms and computing power will lead to even more intelligent ai solutions multimodal ai beyond single data types multimodal ai combines different data types like text images audio for richer understanding for example a virtual assistant that understands both spoken language and visual clues to provide a more natural and helpful user experience and what are the benefits it provides a more comprehensive view of the world leading to improved decision making and problem solving for example a self driving car uses cameras lidar that is laser detection and radar data together to navigate complex environments safely and what is the future expect to see this technology drive advancements in areas like human computer interactions and autonomous systems is going to play a major role and let us explore key ai concepts exploratory data analysis or eda the first step in many ai projects is eda and this involves 
understanding and visualizing data to identify the patterns and the trends. EDA is the first step in many projects of AI. For example, analyzing patient data like age symptoms to find potential links between different diseases. A very, very powerful tool for the medical industry. Computer vision, CV. Equipping computers with the ability to see and also interpret visual data like images and videos. This is called computer vision. So it can interpret visual data like images, pictures, videos. Facial recognition software. You might be aware of this, which is used by many industries mainly for security purposes or self-driving cars usually rely on CV, that is computer vision, to navigate roads or for security purposes. A CV in action. No code AI app building. And this is really, really democratizing AI. Because these platforms allow users with no coding experience to create powerful AI powered applications. No coding is required, no code is required. Just imagine you can create powerful AI apps. Like building a chatbot, you would have seen it in many applications. There's a chat box available, right? And it's used for many purposes, including customer service. Now, building a chatbot for customer service using a no code platform, because it will have drag and drop functionality. So you can create powerful AI apps. Cybersecurity. AI plays also a very crucial role in defending against many, many cyber threats by detecting anomalies and malicious activity. And today we know how important cybersecurity is. What is there is a real threat? They are malwares, they are phishings. So many aspects of security is involved, isn't it? So AI can play a very, very important role in defending against cyber threats, whatever form it is. For example, an AI system analyzes Network traffic patterns, you know, the patterns. And also it can identify potential cyber attacks in real time. That is one big advantage, isn't it? It can actually track, identify, prevent potential cyber attacks and that too in real time. Machine learning, we already saw. It is a core concept. Algorithms learn from data to make predictions and also improve over time. A recommendation system on a shopping website uses ML, that is machine learning. It can also suggest products based on your past purchases. Let us look at some of the advanced AI concepts. 
deep learning it is a powerful subset of machine learning and it is inspired by the human brain it uses complex neural networks to excel at tasks like image and speech recognition these are powerful subset of machine learning and uses complex neural networks and to do image speech recognition tasks and it also it does better and better deep learning algorithms power facial recognition software that can identify individuals in photos and videos with high accuracy artificial neural networks and these are inspired by the structure and function of the brain a n n as it is called are interconnected nodes that process information and learn from data and they form the foundation of deep learning so deep learning uses a n n artificial neural networks and a n n analyzes a picture of a cat and recognizes it based on patterns learning from training data containing many cat images big data these are massive data sets and these are used to train and improve the ai models and these data sets require specialized storage processing techniques and also involve techniques like which we saw earlier eda exploratory data analysis for preparation big data millions of customer reviews are used to train a recommendation system and based on that products are suggested which are relevant to your interest amazing isn't it so many reviews are there everything is analyzed the and the feedback is taken and based on that products which are relevant to you useful to you are also suggested hyper automation automating repetitive repetitive tasks across various domains and using a combination of ai technologies like ml machine learning robotics process automation rpa and natural language processing which is nlp this is called hyper automation and what can it do hyper automation can automate tasks like processing invoices generating reports scheduling meetings freeing up human employees for more strategic important urgent works recommender systems and uh, ai algorithms personalizes user experiences by suggesting relevant products content or services right these often leverage techniques like collaborative filtering or content based filtering recommender systems a uh, music streaming service uses a recommender system to suggest songs based on your listening history and preferences
let us look at the future of AI, artificial intelligence. Robotics, the intersection of AI and engineering, leading to intelligent robots capable of performing complex tasks. In robotics, Industrial robots can assemble cars on factory assembly lines or surgical robots assisting doctors in complex procedures. Ethical AI. What does it do? It addresses the ethical implications or complications of AI development, deployment, and also focusing on fairness, bias, transparency, accountability. These are also important, right? We cannot have an AI which is unethical or biased. So this is also a very important part of AI development. Ethical AI. It should be based on ethics, right? Value systems, beliefs, whatever it is, good or bad. AI focuses, ethical AI focuses on that. Ensuring that AI algorithms used in loan applications don't discriminate against certain demographics based on bias training data. So this will help prevent biased decisions, right? So nobody can discriminate against demographics, people, whatever it is. To, that's why we say the AI has to be ethical. Another important area, but it's still in the early stages, but there's a lot of development and there's a lot of potential. That is quantum machine learning. And this uses actually quantum computing, imagine and it will accelerate AI tasks. And there's going to be a lot of new possibilities and opportunities. We are still in the development stages. Quantum machine learning could potentially revolutionize drug discovery and it can, how? by simulating complex molecules and chemical reactions. So a wonderful tool for the drug development industry. Explainable AI, XAI, what does it do? It makes AI models more transparent and understandable to humans. And it is also crucial for building trust and responsible AI, explainable AI. So why I'm giving you all this is these are the terms which you are going to hear, we are going to see in action. And this is what is in many of the developments, you are going to hear about them. So you should be aware of all the terminologies, what are the concepts, the ideas, isn't it? So I'm giving you all the tools and inputs to understand AI better. Ex there is an example I would like to share with you. Developing XAI techno techniques that explain how an AI loan approval system arrived at a decision allowing for human oversight and potential adjustment. So it also explains, right? Very simple. And now we have to optimize, right? AI, for what? Efficiency and privacy. Very important, isn't it? Transfer learning. Leveraging knowledge gained from one AI task to improve performance in a new but related task. What it does? Saves time and resources compared to training a model from scratch. That transfer of learning. An image recognition model 
trained to identify cats can be fine tuned to recognize different dogs, different dog breeds using transfer learning. What is what was used in one area can be sort of fine tuned to recognize another area. Edge AI, processing and analyzing data closer to the source on devices at the edge of a network, like we have smartphones or wearables for faster response time and improved privacy. It's closer to the source, like devices which we have, right? Smartphones, wearable. So data, which is closer to the source, to be processed and analyzed. And what it does, it leads to faster response time and also helps protect privacy. Edge AI. An AI system on a security camera analyzes video footage on the device itself to detect suspicious activity. And so that reduce, it, it reduces the need to send data to the cloud, you know, the back end, wherever it is. So everything is happening closer, right? The device. Federated learning. What is that? Multiple devices collaborate and train a machine learning model without sharing their individual data. So this also allows for privacy, preserving AI development. So these are all very important things, isn't it? Privacy is important. Security is important, isn't it? Uh, response time is also an important factor. Smartphones participating in a federated learning project can collectively improve a model for on-device speech recognition without sharing individual voice recordings. So these are some examples of federated learning. Generative AI, I think you would have come across or the products or applications which are in use. Gen AI, generative AI. What is it? It is a subfield of AS, of AI focused on creating new data like realistic images, text or even music, isn't it? And it is already out there. You know it as ChatGPT or Dal E, Bing or Gemini. These are all generative AI. They create uh, new data, images, music. And uh, generative AI can be used to create realistic looking. So these are some of the negative or I would say not so positive. It can also create fake news. But the positive is you can also create real information data to be used productively. They are both the negatives and the positives, but we'll look at the positives only. It has to be used in a positive way. Ethical way, as I say. So it can do many things. It can create fake news. It can create, uh, you know, replicate music samples. So it has to be handled better, isn't it? So we have to look at that. And uh, let us explore the cutting edge of AI. What is happening there? Neuromorphic computing, hardware inspired by the human brain, aiming to mimic its efficiency and low power consumption for AI tasks but still in the development process. It is still in the early stages. Neuromorphic computing chips could be used to develop more efficient AI systems for tasks like image recognition on mobile devices. Swarm intelligence, algorithms inspired by collective behavior of animals like bees or ants, enabling pro uh, 
problem solving and optimization of tasks. So it is inspired by the behavior of insects like bees or ants. This is called swarm intelligence. And uh, swarm intelligence algorithms can be used to optimize traffic flow in a city by simulating the behavior of individual vehicles. Causal inference. Establishing cause and effect relationships from data, which is crucial for making informed decisions based on AI insights. Causal inference goes beyond just correlation. Establishing cause and effect relationships from data. Using causal inference techniques, an AI system can analyze medical data to determine if a new drug is truly causing a positive health outcome and not just coinciding with it. Cause and effect. Graph Neural Networks, GNN. It is a specialized type of neural network which is designed to analyze data structure as graphs, that is networks of connected nodes. GNN are useful for tasks like social network analysis and recommendation systems. GNN graph neural networks. A GNN can analyze a social network to identify influential users or recommend products to users based on their connections and preferences within the network. Virtual agents. These are software entities that can interact with humans in a seemingly intelligent way. These can be chatbots, virtual assistants, or embodied robots. A virtual agent in the form of a chatbot can answer customer service questions or can also guide users through a website. A virtual agent. Now we are going to core AL concepts. Core artificial intelligence concepts. Automated machine learning. What does it do? It automates the process of building machine learning models and thus making AI more accessible to users with less technical expertise. Auto ML. Example. AutoML platforms can automate tasks like data cleaning, feature selection, and model hyperparameter tuning. Monotonic reasoning. This is a type of reasoning in AI where conclusions logically follow from premises. New information cannot contradict 
previous deductions. Monotonic reasoning. Example, a rule-based system might conclude if it is raining, the ground is wet and it is raining. Therefore, the ground is wet. Monotonic reasoning is simple but may not capture all real world complexities. Fuzzy sets in AI, artificial intelligence. It is an extension of classical set theory, allowing for elements to have partial membership in a set. It is useful for representing imprecise or subjective data. Let us look at an example. A fuzzy set for tall might include people between 5 feet 10 inches and 6 feet 5 inches with varying degrees of membership, very tall, somewhat tall. And this helps model concepts that aren't that are not strictly defined. Fuzzy set. Training and testing in machine learning. The two phrases of building an ML model are training and testing. Training data is useful are used to teach the model and testing data evaluates its performance on unseen examples. Training and testing in ML. Let us look at an example. An image recognition model is trained on pictures of cats and dogs. That is training data and then it is tested on a new set of images to assess its accuracy in identifying these animals. Training and testing. Simple reflex agents. The most basic type of AI agent is simple reflex agents. They react directly to their environment based on pre-programmed rules. Simple reflex agents. It is the most basic type. Let us look at an example. There is a thermostat that turns on the heater if the room temperature falls below a certain threshold this is a simple reflex agent. Building blocks of AI. Machine learning models, algorithms that learn from data to make predictions or decisions without explicit programming. There are many types of models each suited for different tasks. A spam filter uses a machine learning model to classify emails whether they are spam or not based on the patterns learned from past data previous data. Marco model in AI. This is a statistical model 
and it is used to predict sequences of events based on probability of one event following another. And this is very useful for tasks like speech recognition or text generation. Marco model in AI. What can be an example? A Marco model can predict the next word in a sentence based on the probability of different words following the previous words. Beyond the basics. As AI continues to evolve, there are critical questions about ethics, societal impact, and potential risks. How can we ensure AI is unbiased and also fair? What jobs will AI replace? What new ones will come out, will emerge? How can we prevent misuse of AI for malicious, negative purposes? Inference rules in AI. It is a set of rules used by AI systems to draw conclusions based on available information. And these rules guide the reasoning process of the system. Inference from available information. An inference rule in medical diagnosis system might be if a patient has fever, cough, and difficulty in breathing, then there is a high probability of pneumonia. That is an inference. Unpacking the power of AI. Statistical reasoning in AI. This leverages statistical methods to analyze data, identify patterns, and draw conclusions. This forms the foundation for many AI techniques like ML, machine learning. Statistical reasoning is very important. And this is done to analyze data, identify patterns, get conclusions. An AI system analyzes historical sales data to predict future demands for products, helping businesses make informed inventory decisions. Very useful for companies and organizations, isn't it? So they can know how much of inventory should be created, maintained, because it helps predict future demand for products. It's going to be high or low. Accordingly, inventory can be managed. So neural networks explained this is inspired by the human brain. Neural networks are basically interconnected nodes. What do they do? They process information and also learn from data. And they are very good at complex tasks. Image recognition, NLP, that is natural language processing. Neural networks. And we also saw how a self-driving car uses a neural network to analyze camera footage and make decisions about steering, acceleration, and braking based on the 
perceived environment. Temporal models in AI. There is focus on understanding and predicting how data changes over time. And uh, these are important for uh, tasks like uh, stock price forecasting, anomaly detection in sensor data, etc. Isn't it? These are all called temporal models in AI. And let us look at 10. Example, a financial trading algorithm uses a temporal mode a model to analyze historic price trends and predict future price movements. Let us look at now how AI is used in business. In marketing, AI personalizes advertising campaigns and recommends products to customers. Very useful for marketing purposes. In customer service, chatbots powered by AI can answer customer questions and resolve issues. Complaint handling. Prod detection. This can AI algorithms can identify suspicious financial activity and thereby prevent fraud or cheating. In operations, AI can optimize supply chains, improve logistics, and automate tasks. And uh, let us look at applications beyond the lab. AI in everyday tools. Building your own AI assistant and you can do that as a case study. AI agent tutorial. While creating complex AI agents from scratch requires programming expertise, they are also beginner-friendly platforms that allow you to build basic chatbots or virtual assistants. And these platforms often use pre-built AI models with drag and drop features, interfaces. Very useful to create. And let us look at the impact, likely impact, or what you should say, very important impact, as we can say. The impact on different fields. In healthcare, it can revolutionize medicine uh, with applications in medical imaging analysis. What does it do for faster and more accurate diagnosis? Drug discovery and personalized medicine development. Robot assisted surgery for greater precision and minimally invasive procedures. You know, sometimes they have to make some holes, right? Those days it used to be keyholes, then we had pinholes, surgeries. Now we have no hole surgery also, isn't it? So lesser invasive procedures. In blockchain, all of you are aware of blockchain, right? This helps, AI helps in enhancing security and also improves efficiency. It can lead to fraud detection and also Wherever there are transactions happening, it can detect fraud and it can prevent fraud from happening.
It can help in optimizing resource allocation and network performance within blockchain systems and also enhances data privacy through AI powered anonymization techniques. In finance, it is transforming financial services with automated algorithmic trading for faster and more data-driven investment decisions. It also leads to improved risk assessment and fraud detection in loan applications and financial transactions. It can also provide personalized financial advice and wealth management tools. Let us look at the impact across sectors. In education, AI can lead to personalizing learning experiences by creating adaptive learning platforms that adjust to a student's pace and understanding. Very personalized, isn't it? It can adjust according to the student's speed of learning, understanding, isn't it? Adaptive learning platforms. Automated grading and feedback for faster turnaround and personalized guidance. It can automate grading also, isn't it? And AI-powered virtual tutors can provide on-demand support and instructions. The impact is going to be huge. In agriculture, it can optimize farming practices. How? Precision agriculture using AI to analyze data and can optimize factors like irrigation, fertilization, and pest control. AI can lead to disease and pest prediction and identify threats early so that crop loss is minimized. AI powered robots for automated tasks like harvesting and crop monitoring. AI in natural language generation creating human quality text formats. AI chatbots, you know, can hold natural conversations and also answer customer queries. Automated content creation for marketing materials, news articles, or even creative writing. Machine translation that breaks down language barriers for real-time communication. And in supply chain management, it leads to efficiency. How? By demand forecasting, that is, predict product needs and lead to optimization of inventory levels. Very important for supply chain management, isn't it? Inventory management. Route optimization for transportation networks. So what does it do? This reduces delivery time and thereby cost is also reduced, right? And uh, also it can lead to predictive maintenance when to do the maintenance for machinery and equipment. So you can prevent costly downtime, isn't it? You can tell you when to go for the maintenance of machinery, the equipments and all that. Cyber security, we already saw, it protects data and systems. How? By detection of suspicious activity and if there is any potential cyber attack. Automated threat analysis and response systems to counter cyber threats in real time. 
phishing, spam, email filtering with better accuracy and efficiency. AI in retail. It can enhance shopping experience. How? By personalized product recommendations based on past chases and browsing behavior. You would have experienced that while browsing. Smart chatbots for customer service and product information. Automated, automated inventory management and optimized stock levels. So useful, isn't it? In transportation, very important, isn't it? Shaping the future of mobility. How? Self-driven cars, which are powered by AI, right? For safer and more efficient transportation, traffic flow optimization systems. It can help prevent congestions, you know, improve travel times. Predictive maintenance for vehicles so that to avoid breakdowns and ensure safety. In energy, create a sustainable future. Smart grids, you know, it will help optimize energy distribution and consumption based on real-time demand. And uh, renewable energy forecasting to predict wind and solar power generation. And also AI-powered systems for building energy-efficient See and reduce carbon footprint. Very important. Climate change. It can help manage climate change. Gaming. Enhancing gameplay and creating immersive experiences, isn't it? And uh, you can have AI-powered game characters that can adapt to player behavior and offer more challenging experiences. Procedural content generation for creating unique and different game environments. And also AI-powered game development tools that streamline the creation process. Very exciting for the gaming industry and for those who are playing games also. Biometrics, very, very important. It helps improve security and convenience. How? It can lead to facial recognition for secure access control and for identity verification, isn't it? Biometrics, it is used widely across industries for security purposes, identifying people, access, fingerprint scanners for secure device unlocking and authentication and iris recognition for high security applications. Internet of Things, it's happening out there. Transforming connected devices devices with predictive maintenance for IoT devices to prevent failures and optimize performance. It can help in that area. Anomaly detection for identifying unusual sensor data and potential issues with connected systems. Helps identify that. And automated control and optimization of smart home devices and which can be based on user preferences, real-time data, huge impact. And uh, AI helps in optimization. It helps in finding the best solutions for complex problems with, let's say, route optimization for delivery trucks to minimize travel time and distance. Supply chain optimization, that is, can lead to inventory management and logistic planning, which is efficient. And in finance, it leads to for making data-driven investment decisions. So many areas, it helps optimize. That is, increase efficiency, convenience, etc. Speech recognition, 
and uh, converting spoken language to text. And we have already, you might have heard about or used Siri or Alexa. So converting spoken language to text and responding. Transcription services, it can help audio to text format. Real-time captioning for videos and conferences, isn't it? Improving accessibility. Metaverse, AI, shaping the future of virtual worlds. And it can create realistic, interactive, virtual environments, right? AI in Metaverse. Avatars, AI powered avatars that learn and adapt to user behavior. Content creation tools that leverage AI for generating virtual objects and experiences. Huge impact. In your human interaction, obviously, and uh, chatbots can hold natural conversations, provide effective customer service, isn't it? Human interaction, AI in human interaction. Sentiment analysis to also find out, you know, user emotions, opinions from text and data, isn't it? Or speech data and also give personalized recommendations and suggestions based on user experiences, interactions, isn't it? Sentiment analysis. Social omics and AI can analyze large data sets for social science research. It can understand social trends, dynamics by analysis of social media data. Modeling public opinion and predicting societal shifts using AI. So now you got AI and legislation, ethical considerations, legal frameworks are also important. People are working towards that. And AI regulations have to be developed. It is being developed to ensure fairness, transparency, and accountability. And if there is any bias, it has to be addressed. And legal decision making. Design trends, it is influencing design processes, design concepts, optimizing user interfaces. And uh, personalization of design elements which is based on user preferences and data. It's very, very, it's making a huge impact in design area. Architectural modeling, product design, it helps a lot. Yeah, it can help, it can help assist design. And tailoring experiences and services to individual users, that's what like we have got personalized learning platforms. Recommender systems you already seen. It suggests products, news, articles, or videos, isn't it? And for specific audiences. Transportation we have already seen. Self-driving cars. Helps mobility, right? Promotes revolutionizes mobility, going from one place to another. Traffic management systems for reducing congestion, isn't it? And also preventive maintenance so that vehicles don't have regular breakdowns. Yes. Advanced applications. That is... Uh, Autonomous vehicles, self-driving cars, and also pursuing the environment through sensors, cameras, radar, data, real-time decisions for navigation, obstacle avoidance, safe operation, continuously learning also, right? And improving through data collection and analysis. Edge computing we saw 
processing data closer to the source. What does it do? It leads to faster response time. In applications like industrial automation, remote monitoring, it's all a huge impact. And also improves privacy and real-time decision making, right? There are deep learning architectures, convolutional neural networks, and there are TensorFlow. This is a open source library. You can use it for building AI models, TensorFlow. Chat GPT, I think we should be aware of this by now. It is a large language model chatbot developed by open AI. What does it do? It creates realistic, coherent text formats like poems, quotes, scripts, musical pieces, email and letters. It does a wide variety of jobs. Answering questions in an informative way, even if they are open-ended, challenging or strange. I have used it. It's really useful. Try this. Still under development, there's a lot of you know, a lot of versions are being updated. There's a research ongoing, so to avoid, address potential biases, safety. It's a huge project, ongoing project. Gen AI for software developers, what does it do? It can automate repetitive tasks, code generation or data cleaning. Even it's very useful for software developers. And also identifying patterns and bugs in existing code. If you have, you can share it. It can identify that. Create new software functionalities or user interfaces based on design specifications. It's highly interactive. You can try it. And what is going to be the impact on society? As we saw again, cybersecurity, very important. It can detect and prevent cyber attacks. That too, real time. Data breaches can be it can be protected against data breaches, unauthorized access, and also automate security responses quickly and efficiently. Gaming, we already say, it enhances gaming experience with realistic behavior and decision-making capabilities, NPCs, non-player characters, and procedural content generation, it can help in creating unique and varied game environments and game development tools that streamline the creation process and personalize gameplay. Very, very, you know, it's making a lot of contribution in different fields, different areas. AI in social media. We are all using it, right? It helps content recommendation algorithms, suggesting posts, videos, people to follow. And it also shapes how we connect online, isn't it? And uh, advertising is being done, tailored to your interest, online behavior, and also for content moderation. It can be used, AI can be used to identify and remove harmful or inappropriate content. Climate change, very important. It helps... Uh, it can help in you know managing, combating climate challenges. It can predict weather patterns, extreme weather events, so that we are prepared to face such challenges. Energy use can be optimized and also helps in developing AI, you know, helps in renewable energy sources to develop them and helps in monitoring environmental data so that to track changes and identify areas needing intervention. Music. Yes, it can create new musical pieces in different styles and genres. It can assist composers with tasks like melody creation or harmonization. Expanding horizons. Sports. It can optimize performance with how it can analyze player data to identify strengths, weaknesses, injuries, risks, you know, sports analytics, wonderful area. Scouting and recruiting new talent. It can, it can be done by using AI-powered tools 
and also you know it's very useful for developing game strategies based on ai analysis of opponent data also it helps in so many diverse ways isn't it it can ai is going to make an impact really on different industries different sectors different professions drug discovery we already saw it can accelerate medical breakthrough how it can analyze huge vast data sets to identify potential drug candidates drug interactions predicting their effectiveness clinical trials optimization leading to faster and more efficient drug development personalized medicine it can help in healthcare genetic analysis using ai to predict individual disease risk custom treatment plan based on patient's unique medical history and ai powered chatbots providing patients with uh, 24 by 7 health information and support facilities fraud detection we saw it protects financial systems to identify suspicious activity malicious activity cheating fraud building customer profiles to detect anomalies suggesting potential fraud preventing financial losses safeguarding sensitive data impact is huge human resources right again and hr is an important activity of any organization what does it do transforming recruitment and workplace practices great automating resume screening candidate evaluation processes fantastic isn't it and you can also provide personalized onboarding experience for new employees anybody who is joining you it can provide personalized onboarding experiences analyzing employee data to identify skills gaps and recommend training programs so right from recruitment to performance management systems ai is going to play a very very important role it helps in selection training annual uh, what you should say performance management appraisals training etc so customer service interactions we have got chatbots which can help it can help products and services recommendation personalized experiences smart cities it can help create smart cities right that is efficient and sustainable urban environments it helps in the traffic flow reducing congestions energy consumption management public safety through video surveillance and anomaly detection huge in space it can also assist in space missions how does it analyzing data from space probes you know huge amount of data is generated and telescopes to understand the universe controlling robots and autonomous vehicles used in space exploration and developing ai powered systems for onboard spacecraft decision making and in environment it can help us protect our planet it can monitor wherever deforestation and how to prevent that tracking environmental changes through satellites you know imagine analysis very important tool it can help in predicting climatic events where storms are going to happen where flooding might happen more rains the natural disasters to help prepare preparedness isn't it and also optimizing resource management and promoting sustainability practices one word which you have seen is being used everywhere is optimization why should we use ai for optimization of whatever is being done merging minds and machines ai in robotics robotic process automation right so we have got software robots automating repetitive tasks data entry form processing great it helps in improving accuracy and reducing human error in basic office tasks and what does it do it helps employees free them up for more important strategy work art and creativity creativity it is inspiring new artistic expressions new things are being created whether it's in music paintings creative text 
huge impact. So it can help artists with tasks like color palette, selection, image editing. Manufacturing, we saw transforming production processes. It helps in maintenance and prevent equipment failures. Production lines can be optimized. Efficiency can be improved. Quality control, you know, can be enhanced through AI-based visual inspection systems. Entertainment again, whether it's music or movies, it plays by personalizing content recommendations. And uh, it is being used in uh, AV, that is augmented reality, virtual realities. And also, it can develop AI, uh, characters for video games or virtual assistants for theme parks. It's huge. Legal services, it can augment legal practice with research tools for faster and more efficient case preparation. And um, automating document review tasks to identify key information and potential issues and predicting the outcome of legal cases based on historical data. A lot of information, a lot of help for the legal sector also. So we have got in our daily life, marketing, we can reach target audiences based on user data and online behavior. Chatbots, customer service, lead generation, and optimizing market campaigns for better ROI that is return on investments by data analysis. Real estate, you can streamline the buying and selling processes, isn't it? And you can have virtual tools for remote property viewing, property somewhere, the buyers are somewhere. So it helps. Virtual tools can be created using AI. And uh, it helps in also property valuation. What is the value? What is the price? Market price. Based by your, uh, analysis of market trends and data by AI. And matching the potential buyers with sellers, isn't it? With properties. It's huge impact. We already saw it's making a lot of impact in personal finance also. So it helps budgeting tools which will help you track spending and also get recommendations what to be done. Automated bill payments, fantastic, so that you don't miss out on any paid aid, financial transactions for more efficient money and management, isn't it? It also leads to AI can give investment advice and portfolio optimization. Climate modeling, we saw, it helps more accurate climate models, isn't it? So that future climate patterns can be predicted more effectively. And it can analyze, that's one advantage of AI. It can analyze, you know, huge data, vast data sets, potential trends, potential solutions, and it helps development of effective climate change, mitigation strategies. And extending possibilities, AI yeah, for a better world in wildlife, very important. Protecting endangered species. How? By automating animal identification and population tracking using camera traps, image recognition. We can prevent poaching, isn't it? We can identify which are the hotspots where illegal activities happening. How? By AI analysis of environmental data. And optimizing habitat conversation efforts based on AI-powered data analysis. AI in speech recognition, we saw it can convert spoken language to text. Siri, Alexa. Automated transcription services can also lead to audio recordings to text format and real-time captioning for videos and conferences. It is used in sentiment analysis, can understand emotions from text or speech data. Customer service improvement, 
by personalizing content recommendations. Drug we saw new users for existing drugs can be done. Mass data sets to identify potential applications of existing drugs for new diseases. It can accelerate drug development and also it provides new hope, isn't it? With unmet, certain unmet medical needs. Huge impact. Disaster response, saving life in emergencies. It can track, you know, satellite imagery and sensor data to predict and track disasters. It can optimize search and rescue. Areas, you know, can be identified where more assistance is likely to be needed. And also provides real-time information and updates to emergency responders, public. Social robotics. Now we can have social robotics, interacting with humans in social uh, you know, settings. It can be used in healthcare to provide companionship and care for elderly patients. Educational ro robots are helping children learn and interact in a fun and engaging way. Robots are used in customer service roles also, providing information, answering questions. In businesses again, retail analytics. It optimizes retail operations. How? By analyzing customer behavior data, buying patterns, what are the preferences, inventory management, better inventory management, product placement, marketing campaigns, promotions, huge impact. Fraud, preven fraud prevention, protecting businesses from financial losses, isn't it? Real time. Suspicious activities, safeguarding financial systems, Customer data can be product can be protected. In human interaction, this is creating more natural and intuitive ways how humans can interact with computers. Voice call controlled interfaces like smart speakers, virtual assistants, gesture recognition technology, you know, that allows users to control devices with hand movements, huge impacts and uh, augmented reality applications, isn't it? Natural language understanding, it helps computers to understand human language, machine translation services that convert text, and further applications, geospatial analysis, location data, analyzing satellite imagery and aerial photography for land use, planning, environmental monitoring, Huge. It can lead to optimizing delivery routes for logistic companies based on real-time traffic data and also identifying patterns and trends in geographical data to inform decision making. Healthcare, we saw, it can analyze medical images to detect diseases at an early stage. It can assist doctors to help analyze patient data, treatment recommendations, and also personalizing treatment based on individual patient factors and genetic information. Mental health, it can also provide a lot of support and care, isn't it? Chatbots can offer mental health support, crisis intervention tools. And it can analyze language patterns in text or speech to identify any potential mental health issues and personalized treatment. We saw already personalized learning that can adjust to the difficulty level based on students' progress and can give you know personalized feedback, recommendations, and provides additional support to students. Sports training we saw to identify strengths, weaknesses, what are the likely injuries, and also, personalized training training plans can be activated based on AI analysis of player data and also, you know, simulating game scenarios. If I'm going to play like this, what the other person will do. And AI can help prepare athletes for competition. In our surroundings, it is helping, it is helping in wildlife monitoring.
financial forecasting, market trends, stock prices, predictions, generating financial reports and forecasts for businesses. Transportation, once again, they're going to sum it up. It can lead to better efficient transportation system. Predicting maintenance. Music, new music can be discovered and you can get songs recommended based on your choice, likes. Analyzing musical styles and characteristics. So, wonderful area and can create your own personal playlist. Cyber threat protects you. AI can protect you from cyber threat. This is what is our world. Energy efficiency can be optimized. It can have create controls for heating, ventilation, air conditioning systems. Fantastic. Natural disasters can be monitored, predicted, managed, and also lead for poverty alleviation, healthcare access in underserved communities, isn't it? Gaming, we saw new experiences, realistic behavior. It helps in creating a variety of game environments. We are summing it up, protecting online platforms in content moderation. You can use it and remove, identify malicious contents, spam, fake news articles, so it helps in fashion, new clothing, concepts, patterns, personalization. And it's a great use for optimization for garment manufacturing processes by increasing efficiency and sustainability. So we saw in agriculture, it can do a lot of things. Autonomous farm machinery for planting, harvesting, crop monitoring. Crop yields can be predicted and optimized for, for resource utilization. It can help prevent, detect disease and pets. In space again, you can get data from probes and telescopes and onboard spacecraft decision making. This can help in a lot of areas. In climate, we can have better climates. We can predict weather patterns. Just it's a summary, summing up of all we covered. Coastal defenses, it helps in flood management. Healthcare, we already saw, it can lead to better procedures with improved precision and control. Robotic assistance for patient care, rehabilitation. Supply chain, we saw, we can make it more efficient. Optimizing logistics and transportation routes. So, we already we have covered all this natural disasters, wildlife behavior analysis, which helps us conserve, isn't it? Wildlife by using GPS collars, AI algorithms. You can also prevent poaching and illegal activities. So financial market to prevent frauds, advertising, making it personalized and also helps in dynamic pricing strategies that adjust prices based on market demand, customer behavior, better pricing. In language, it helps down barriers, isn't it? Translate text and speech in real time. Real-time communication between people speaking different languages. It can help communicate. So, final summary.
oceanography. AI can be used to unlock the secrets of the ocean. And uh, it can analyze data to understand ocean currents, climate patterns, marine life. Predicting and monitoring ocean events like oil spills, harmful algal blooms, underwater robots for exploration, research. Can create immersive, interactive games. So, these are some of the areas which I have already seen. It's making an impact. Even for senior citizens, isn't it? For citizens. And uh, there's going to be a lot of impact on human AI collaboration. Explainers, the role of computer chips, graphics, processing units, specialized hardware, isn't it? They are all required. There's happening, a lot of development is happening in the cloud computing, big data infrastructure is required. And the future of AI hardware, race for, and there's a big race for quantum computing, isn't it? They need to be legal, framework is required. So governments are getting into this. There is need for frameworks for AI development and use. And there is impact also. So automating legal processes, improving access to justice. And for our free courses, visit us at www.astenali.com. Thank you.